Hello, so it's been a little while since I made a Gmod video, so if any of you guys are here on this channel for the night vision stuff, I'm sorry this video is not for you, but for the people who have been around a little while or have seen the video I made previously on the Gmod ballistic missile carriers I made, um, I've always been wanting to make something a lot more elaborate and actually usable than that, since all that thing really did was just launch a missile vertically up in the air, do nothing, and look cool. So this is what I just finished building. This is the newest sort of concept of it. It's completely different, and it is a TEL, Transporter Erector Launcher, for a full-on um, intercontinental ballistic missile with three independently targetable MIRVs. So you can see the MIRVs right in here. Each of them will seek out the same target, but they have a set deviation pattern to where they will, uh, will, okay, anyway, one will hit dead center, and then two will deviate off to each side, forming just basically like a line of destruction, since each has a 10 kiloton nuclear warhead, basically making it a smart nuclear cluster bomb on the tip of a ballistic missile. So, that sounds terrifying, so... The way it works is once it's raised into the launch position, um, at launch, the launch motor will engage, it'll kick it out of the tube. Once that has finished, it is detached from the main missile and is kicked off to the side to get out of the way. The main flight motor will ignite, which is right here. That will burn for seven and a half seconds upon engine burnout. Uh, there is a small delay and then after that delay, the uh, re-entry vehicles, the MIRVs, are released. Um, one second after being released, they are fully armed and ready to explode. Uh, that's just to prevent them from colliding in with anything on the skybox or the missile itself to prevent premature detonation. And yeah, that's basically all she wrote. Uh, the nose cone will also detach uh, once the missile is raised into the firing position, which you're about to see here in a second. This will come off, kind of like the Topol M. So, uh, I'm just going to shut up and uh, show you how it works. So, you just link it with a laser designator. Just eradicate those trees over there. Um, and the missile will, the giant missile itself carrying the MIRVs, will slew onto the target's X and Y coordinate and at a fixed Z altitude. Um, which is basically the exact same concept as the previous Top Attack Gmod ballistic missile sort of thing I made, just on steroids. So, uh, the MIRVs will track uh, the X, Y, and Z coordinate, obviously, because those are what actually are going to hit the target. Um, in the future, I'm going to make a video going much more in depth into how all this works. Um, it may look pretty intimidating because there's a shitload of gates, but it's really not all that complicated. Um, quite a few of you have been yelling at me for some time now to show you how to make it work, so um, don't worry, I'm getting to it. I'm just lazy. So we have our target designated. So what we're going to do is engage the track locks. This makes the whole vehicle stationary. Uh, we're going to do the locking latches that secure the missile to the hull for uh, stability during transport. And then we're going to raise the missile to the firing position. Cap's fallen off. And this is the missile inclinometer, so we know exactly what angle the missile is at during firing. This is why we're on this nice flat surface, because it does need to be fired from a level position. Giant missile, so it takes a little while. Okay, now we're in the firing position, and now all we need to do is fire. The missile handles everything else. The entire launch sequence is handled automatically, and all we need to do push this. Area. So it starts a 15 second countdown and I'll get a little bit over here so you guys can see exactly what's going on. So the launch motor chucks the missile out of the tube, main engine ignites, it begins slewing onto the target, guidance is enabled. The motor burns out, nose cone detaches, MIRVs are released, and now they're fully armed and will begin seeking out their targets, as you see them doing now. And then... It destroys your eardrums. And that's all there is to it. It's really that simple, and it will hit anywhere on the map with pinpoint precision. Uh, so... Yeah. 
pretty cool. I'll make a uh, video in the near future showing you exactly how to build one yourself. Probably not this complicated. And before you ask, no, I'm not going to put it on the workshop. This is way too complicated of a contraption. Um, so just build your own. I'll show you how to make one. And until uh, next time.